Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily, daily analysis. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And it's actually a day before CPI or core CPI OS. Actually, CPI. You can check that on the screen. You can see that tomorrow actually is the biggest day. And I think maybe the CPI might be going down. And obviously, I'm going to trade that. So with that actually i think maybe because actually in our groups guys we're not actually trading the news so i'm creating another group for only fundamentals for only trading fundamentals for those who wants to trade the news if you want to trade the spikes let me know uh, so uh, i'm creating that group actually starting from today but for those who wants to just join pure vip signals uh, you can see on 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 my side there monthly is 45 dollars 80 dollars six month uh, 12 months is 150 dollars and lifetime is actually 250 dollars so as i said we're creating uh, something we're creating something for everyone actually if you want to be that part of the team you can join the team actually for $30 uh, we are creating lifetime actually uh, fundamental fundamental actually or trading the spikes or trading the news only so on those uh, on that group that I'm going to create it's actually going to be like uh, if maybe we have like CPI like this we're going to trade for that we're going to wait for that if we have maybe GDP or whatever that we trade I'm just going to update you and I'm also going to give you the direction and another strategy that I'm going to talk about in that group. So I hope maybe you get that. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. So actually, what's really happening? Um, as I said, it's actually a day before a uh, CPI. Uh, we expecting. Let me close this. Let me close the window. Okay, it's fine. So what's really happening on the market, as you can see there on the screen, uh, I started with GBPJPY. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Mm. What's really happening on the screen? Uh, GBPJPY, you can see, it's been just actually moving sideways. Do you see that? The market is just moving like this. So that is actually not a proper... Uh, actually trend that i can say maybe we follow you know we don't actually follow uh, that type of a move so even here it's actually something like that so even here expect something like that because you can see that the market it's moving with this uh, this type of uh, consolidation or ranging go down consolidate or push up consolidate something like that we don't actually have proper trends where we see the market uh, pushing up like that or pushing down like that i hope you see that so what i see here is uh, i see that even here the market might create the same thing so there is a chance or the room actually for the market to consolidate yes the market can still reach this point or something but the market has to show us that uh, before we follow so for me this is not actually a great structure to follow but if you trade gbp jpy maybe you understand how uh, you can take it you see so now we push to gbp jpy uh, sorry gbp usd so what's really happening i like this because the market is actually clear the market is pushing to the upside the market is creating this nice bullish momentum you can see that actually that is a very clear a clear structure uh, for us so what we have here is we have this aggressive bullish move you can see it's been pushing up uh, the market actually touched our support so we expecting uh, i think it can even reach that area yes it can reach that area we can push a little bit uh, here so what's really happening is the market is actually on that aggressive bullish move around from this area we see the market pushing up so it means if you understand you were going to continue with that uh, bullish actually move do you see that okay i hope you see that the market is being pushing to the upside so you see the market is being creating something like that so once the market comes back here we're not going to say oh maybe the market is downtrending no we have a bigger trend here the market was coming to retest here 
before pushing the upside. If I go closer there, you will see very nice that actually the market, actually the market uh, created some very nice structure. The market was going down very nice, nice actually re uh, resistant there. After that, the market broke out. You can see a very nice retest. Then I'm expecting the market to do what? I'm expecting the market to push up. But as I said, uh, this is a day before CPI. Mostly we're going to get uh, the market might just consolidate. The market can just consolidate until tomorrow. So I'm expecting uh, inflation to go a little bit lower, uh, which means we might see some uh, some sort of bu uh, uh, bullish move uh, from Nasdaq and US status. I mean tomorrow. So Euro USD, what's really happening? <laughs> Sorry, you can easily see that yes. Quite similar to GBP USD, the market is still doing what? The market is still respecting our support area as we have this nice support area. So now on top there, you can see that the market is trying to do what? It's trying to push the upside, which means the market is aggressively on this bullish move. You can see that. I don't know if I sent this, but I still remember when I said the market will do this and that. And we had this. So I hope, but I don't, I don't think I sent this. But if I did send, uh, actually, we were, they we're going to be in a very smaller profit. So what we see is the market pushed lower, actually, pushed a lower, reached that support area. Not that strong in any way, pushed up again. So I'm expecting the market maybe to keep pushing up, especially uh, when we have CPI. Yes, but the market can sell before pushing up. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. So remember... If you want to be part of the team, if you want to be part of the uh, of the fundamentals, uh, now we're creating fundamental uh, trading. Actually, before we started with that, actually, before uh, we started with a uh, news trading, the first group that I had was actually news. So for that, uh, come join the team for $30. This is lifetime. So we're going to trade spikes. So I'm just going to even share the uh, the the the. the, the 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 strategies that we're going to use right so yeah uh, on on euro usd i'm expecting the market to do what to keep pushing up especially when the market is still respecting our trend and our support area and now the market is above that resistance that it was respecting so now the market is no longer respecting that it means we expecting the market to push up what's really happening on uh, usd jpy I think it's quite straightforward. Please, 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 uh, please, guys, please, guys, please, guys, smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. You can share the videos with your friends, guys. You can share the videos with your friends. So, yeah, now we are on, 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 on USDJPY. Please uh, smash that subscribe. Uh, by doing that, you uh, you grow in the channel and you give me you give me actually the strength uh, to come back and do another video. So, what's really happening? Uh, we can see that yes, this one is quite simple. Since last year, by the way, the market has been respecting this resistant area. And when we check, the market was consolidating, push lower, consolidating, push lower, consolidating, push lower, consolidate. We expecting the market to do what? It's obvious to push lower. Why? Uh, especially as we are on downtrend. The market is still doing what? Respecting this downtrend and we're expecting to do what? To sell. That's what we do actually when we follow the trend. So I'm expecting a very nice sell from that area. The, the thing is the market is far from our resistance, but it's still fine. We can have a very nice hit and run. Hit and run is uh, you don't really actually hold trades longer. You don't actually really uh, like hold trades longer. So I'm expecting what? A nice sell. So something like that. I hope you expect, uh, you see that. Unless if maybe the market comes and break this uh, resistance, we can say maybe the market is about to change that direction. But for now, for now, the market is doing what? The market is still respecting uh, that. Uh, the market is still actually respecting uh, that trend. So What's really happening on gold? Uh, I like the structure here. I like the structure. So remember, we are still on that uptrend. You can see everything is just there and it's respecting that very nice. So now we have something like that. The market is actually aggressively 
on this bullish move i think above there we have to have a buy pending order it seems like the market will keep pushing up or higher and higher as the market as this bullish momentum is still very very strong so it means i'm expecting the market to push up so above this area i'm going to have a buy pending order with my stop loss ready yes sometimes we take some losses sometimes we uh, we we sometimes we take the losses and most of the time we win you see so in trading for those who don't know don't be afraid of losing just make sure that you apply your risk management the reason behind that is we know that we can't win every day we're not going to win every day so uh, on that one i forgot to show you this guys i still actually need five people um which i'm going to start from actually next week i already have other people that i'm trading on and actually i'm starting to go aggressive this week uh, the other week i was going soft 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 that's to make a layer between their account and the small profit that i made so for starting from tomorrow i'm just going to take actually so i'm starting to take those aggressive moves so that we can reach our minimum target so if you want to be part of the team just let me know just let me know only five people and then then when we're done we can still add the other one so yeah what's really happening uh, on gold i'm expecting the market to do what to push the upside as we are actually on this bullish move and it seems like the market is breaking at uh, that resistance when i'm saying the resistance there is a resistance around this area there is a resistance around this area and it seems like the market broke out there so i'm going to take a buy but a buy pending order little bit above that area so let's push to the next one i hope this video is not go uh, going to be very long so guys you will see that the market is not actually moving that much the reason behind that everyone is waiting for cpi then then they're going to try to invest or whatever so that we will see the market pushing up or down so now we are on us oil what's really happening on us oil we can easily see that the market is actually doing what the market is actually downtrending so even though the market sometimes pushes up we know that uh, the overall move is still a uh, downtrend in the market is still respecting our downtrend so if we go closer there you will see that the market has been creating these structures the market is created this type of a structure broke lower so now i'm expecting the market to push lower up to maybe 70 uh, 70 so i think the market has been playing games around this area but everyone is waiting for cpi obviously so i'm not surprised so i will wait for that even today actually i'm not expecting to trade i will just wait for tomorrow when you trade when we say we you have a trading plan this is supposed to be part of your plan the market will mostly consolidate before high impact news you should know about stuff like that so when the market does something like that just enjoy your analysis don't trade because the market will actually won't move that much or you're just inviting some losses have some rules have that trading plan maybe that will help you so yeah that's what i see i'm expecting the market to push lower but maybe that will happen tomorrow as everyone is expecting a uh, cpi maybe to go a little bit lower because that is a very high impact and very important news actually so now we are on us uh so us 30 uh, dow jones so what's really happening uh, the market is still actually on a downtrend the market is actually still downtrending but if we go there uh, we see that the market is trying to maybe trying to get out of that trend i did send a buy pending order yesterday obviously maybe they smashed that and on yeah i think obviously they smashed that so you can see the structure that currently we had this sort of a structure the market was consolidating here and then we have a breakout that's why we end up taking a buy around that area that's why we ended up taking a buy around that area so i hope you see that but the overall move guys it's not like maybe the overall move it says that we're supposed to buy that is actually a hit and run you just take small profit then you get out because th up there we still have uh, that actually uh, a resistant area so there is a chance for the market to actually push lower or before pushing up something anything can happen anything can happen but since the market is actually very close at all our resistant maybe we will see the market uh, trying to push lower that is also possible you know sometimes we don't ju just have to say 
uh, we, we don't really have to have confident too much confident on one direction it should balance because if we start to believe or say oh the market will do this and that we start to take the wrong decision because of our belief so we have to follow the structure not what we think i hope that will help so that's why i say smash that subscribe 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 so what's really happening uh, on nasdaq uh, actually nasdaq disappointed me yesterday what's really happening is yes we are still on a downtrend yes we're supposed to look for what for those sell positions but uh, along the way remember this is a four hours time frame i see that sometimes we have some very nice bullish move uh, some moves uh, you can see actually that we have an area that we can call a support and the market actually did come around this area start to push the upside there is a chance for the market to do what to reach this area before pushing lower or maybe just to break that out so but if we go closer there you can see that we had a structure remember this is a four hours time frame we had a structure let me remove some we have a we had a, a very nice structure uh, going down like this the market was doing something like this you can easily see that yes the market broke out we had a retest but we bought i bought actually i think anyone who followed actually the pending order did not actually lose i bought actually early then the market actually pushed lower then after pushed up unfortunately i took i took a loss there yes we do lose sometimes so now i'm expecting the market to come back again maybe to create something like this to create something like this before maybe pushing up yes there's still a room for the market to sell but i think today the market will just consolidate so i'm just waiting for tomorrow just to take that risk so i have a strategy for that so i will see what i can do so i hope maybe everyone uh, every, everyone is going to enjoy uh, actually later on i was supposed to go on live session but i think i will go maybe after six because we from two outlook to from two outlook to to six uh, we're going to have a low chaining so that is like seriously aggressive low chaining uh, because mostly it, it takes two hours but there's nothing i can do so it means after six we can just try to see what's really happening or what happened on the market but the best thing that you can do is don't forget to smash the subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo guys if remember remember i'm creating a news uh, channel a group actually for those who wants to trade the news only it's only 30 dollars lifetime news only news only but if you just want the signal if you just want the signals uh, here we go here you go you can see that on on the other side you can just whatsapp me or telegram me for those who wants to just grow their account remember when we say a 350 you don't really have to give me this 350 you just give me this uh, like your trading details then from those trading details i can trade uh, with your account i can log in and trade with your account the target or the minimum is actually two thousand dollars for a period of 30 days no split we don't share the profit so but there, there is an upfront uh, up upfront fee uh, which is $250, especially as we're not going to share any profits. I hope you understand that. So thank you very much. This is Kenzo, Extra Hot Forex. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and like share with your friends. I'll see you later. Thank you.